foods to avoid arthritis. Welcome, everyone. Before watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we publish a new video. Arthritis is a crippling disease. It affects all of us, the young, old, men and women of all ages. Arthritis is a condition that affects our joints, making them stiff, painful and swollen. There are many different kinds of arthritis and they can affect people of any age. Did you know that the foods you eat can affect your arthritis pain and symptoms? Inflammation, a major cause of arthritis, is often made worse or better because of a person's diet. You can influence inflammation by eating anti-inflammatory foods, such as leafy greens and colorful vegetables, and avoiding the following inflammatory foods. 1. Processed foods. Avoid processed foods, such as baked goods and prepackaged meals and snacks. These items contain trans fats to help preserve them, and trans fats trigger systemic inflammation. To dodge trans fats, avoid any foods labeled as containing partially hydrogenated oils. 2. Omega-6 fatty acids. Corn, peanut, sunflower, safflower, and soy oils, as well as most meats, are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which are only healthy in small doses. Excessive omega-6 consumption can trigger inflammatory chemicals. 3. Sugar and certain sugar alternatives. Foods that contain refined sugar, including pastries, chocolate, candy, soda, and even fruit juices trigger the release of proteins in the body called cytokines, which cause inflammation. Sugar is labeled in many ways in food items. In addition to sugar, watch out for corn syrup, fructose, sucrose, or maltose in ingredient lists. Cutting back on regular sugar may lead people to seek out foods made with sugar alternatives, such as aspartame and sucralose, when sweet tooth hits. However, some people are sensitive to these substances, which can cause an inflammatory response from the body. Sugar alternatives are often found in diet sodas, gum, sugar-free candy, and low-fat yogurt and pudding. 4. Red meat and fried foods. Meat, especially red meat is high in saturated fats, which may cause high cholesterol and inflammation. In addition, meat contains high levels of advanced glycation end products ages that stimulate inflammation, particularly when it is broiled, grilled, roasted, or fried. It's not just fried chicken that you should avoid, though. Other fried foods, such as donuts and french fries, contain trans fats in addition to ages. 5. Refined carbohydrates. White flour products, such as white bread, white pasta, and crackers, are considered refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates, also called refined grains, cause a spike in blood glucose, which has been shown to increase inflammation in the body. Another factor to consider about grains, people with gluten sensitivities may experience joint pain and inflammation from consuming wheat products. 6. Cheese and high-fat dairy. Cheese, butter, cream cheese, margarine, and mayonnaise are all high in both saturated fats and advanced glycation end products ages, they're big inflammation triggers and should be consumed sparingly. However, a recent study found that some dairy products, especially fermented dairy products like Greek yogurt, are anti-inflammatory for people who are not sensitive to cow's milk. 7. Alcohol. Experts agree consuming too much alcohol increases inflammation and health risks. However, the research regarding moderate alcohol consumption is mixed. If you are trying to decrease inflammation, try cutting out alcohol altogether for 4 to 6 weeks and see what happens. You may notice a decrease in inflammatory joint pain. You may also notice that you sleep better which itself can help decrease chronic pain symptoms. Initially, it may seem like many tasty foods are off limits. Keep in mind that a few simple swaps can often make the difference between healthy and unhealthy food choices. For example, cook with olive oil instead of corn oil, or swap out white bread for whole grain bread. Avoiding foods and drinks that trigger inflammation is not just good for your arthritis. An anti-inflammatory diet can also help prevent other chronic conditions like heart disease and diabetes. So, if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified of the next helpful video. Remember to always go first for natural remedies of healing for low-cost healthy living.